Hello, welcome to this PW Builder picture in picture demo page. So this page is there to show you how to use the picture in picture feature available in the latest uh, browser uh, engines. And so this picture in picture feature needs first a video element to be uh, able to use it as an input. So this is what I have on the right. I've got a video element that would then have four different uh, sources itself. So I wanted to demonstrate how to use, you know, uh, this picture in picture element in all the possible case I know. So the first one and the most obvious one, obviously, is the MPEG4 video source. So this is a Blender Foundation uh, great video being rendered with uh, the Blender tool. Uh, that currently being displayed in the video element and I will be able to switch uh, this current video tag to picture in picture mode just after that. But first I'm going to show you the various ways to render inside the video element. The second one that could be useful, we'll see that as a demonstration too, is the webcam. So I'm going to connect to the webcam. So hi there, this is me. And I'm going to take the video output of my webcam and project that to the video uh, element again. So something very basic you, you already know how to do. Then something more advanced and something I really like, you can now also share um, your screen or even one of the application or tab of your browser using uh, one of the features. So I'm going to click on this button. You'll see that I'm being prompted uh, by Edge in this case to ask me which screen you like to, to showcase. So I've got a dual screen setup currently. So screen one is my laptop screen and the screen two is an external monitor. So um, I can also choose one of the application window or uh, a possible Microsoft Edge um, tabs. Currently, I have only two tabs available, so I can click one of the tabs and choose only this tab to be visible um, inside the video element. So in my case, I'm going to, to share the entire screen one. I'm going to click on share. And now you can see that on my screen one, I'm currently using a VS Code. So if I'm going on screen one that you cannot see because I'm just recording screen two, you can see that I can have a video a preview of what I'm doing on, on uh, screen, screen one, my main screen. So I think it's pretty cool feature and it's going to work too with a picture in picture element. We're going to see that just after that. Last but not least, I wanted to push, you know, this new feature up to the limit. So you can, I have a WebGL canvas uh, on the left, so you can, you know, use your mouse to rotate the, uh, this beautiful helmet on the left. This is using BabylonJS, a, a, a 3D engine I've been working on in the past, so I wanted to use it again as a, as a source for my demonstration. So what you can do with WebGL canvas, but any canvas, even the 2D canvas, you can ask the canvas element to render as a stream, and this stream will be the input of the video elements, which is on the right, which will be then the input of the picture, a picture element itself. So I, I do hope that you're still following what's happening and we'll see that during the demonstration. So now I can ask to take this canvas, render as a stream, and put that as an input to the um, video tag. So you see that this is still a, a, a video. This is not anymore uh, a real rendering. This is real-time rendering. So this is uh, the bitmap uh, of the canvas being used there. And this is a copy, a video copy of the element on the left. Okay, now that we've seen all the possible cases to render inside this video element, we're going to use the picture-in-picture uh, -picture, uh, feature itself. For that, it's pretty simple. You just have to click on this button. And you see now that the, the video has uh, stopped uh, on in the main page is a uh, it's switch, uh, switches to black and now I have this floating picture in picture element I can obviously now move my window out of uh, the visible spaces so on, on screen one and obviously this is still working so you can uh, put some logic on top of the button so in this case I just have the pause button and the play button I can go back by clicking on this button to go back to the page itself, so remove the picture picture element uh, from where it is currently. I can also render my webcam, so I'm going to click on button two on my seg on my page that you cannot see for now. So now I'm uh, projecting the webcam inside the picture in picture element. So obviously, let's say that you put something right in one of the corner. You can then mimic what we are doing with Microsoft Edge, which is based on web technologies too, to be able to do like a video conferencing tool. So you can, for instance, share your screen uh, with your, um, you know, with your uh, colleagues 
and also use your webcam uh, in this way to be able to do something very similar as Microsoft Teams using just um, the latest feature available in your browser. At last, um, I've got two other features to show you. Is uh, the obviously to to share the screen. So um, I'm going to to share my screen one again, and then you can see this is the page I'm currently uh, <laughs> playing with that you cannot see. Uh, when I'm switching the various sources. So the next step now is I'm going to render the WebGL canvas. So again, look at the various button. I just have the pause button. So I'm, if I'm clicking pause, I'm going just to stop, um, you know, giving a source to these video elements. So this is basically it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to, to click and you can see what I'm doing on the, on, uh, the first screen. I'm going to ask to render the WebGL uh, element inside the picture and picture element. So now you can see my beautiful helmet. In this case, I wanted to work and, and see what I could do as a logic uh, with this button. So obviously the, those buttons are made to control um, either a, a video playlist, you see what I mean, or, or music. So you can uh, navigate uh, back and forth between the various items you've got in your play playlist. In my cases, I wanted to be able to control the um, uh, the WebGL canvas. So obviously, if I'm using my mouse and trying to move the camera, I cannot do that because you cannot capture the mouse events uh, from this picture and picture element to do something else that what is meant for. This is meant for just displaying a video feed in picture in picture mode. So when you're going to use a mouse, it's just going to move it. But I being able to just use this button to be able, for instance, to pause it. So I'm going to stop the rotation of my camera and then I'm going to use the left and right button just to uh, choose at which speed and on, on which you know, um, side I would like to do the rotation to occur. So you can have a look to the source code uh, available, you know, on Glitch. So you just have to click um, right on the button I'm going to show you. So I'm going to go back to the main page, go there. So if you want to have a look to the source code, you just need to click there and go to view source and we'll be able to use it. And also, I like to share that with you. We, we're currently working on various demos on pwbuilder.com. So if you like to see more of what we're doing, you can just click there and have a look to the other uh, demos and features we are working. So we, we try to play with the latest Fugu, uh, great features that we're all working with uh, that, will, that will help you to build some very modern and, uh, and great PWA. So feel free, to, feel free to have a look there. We have other various uh, great stuff uh, to, to, to share with you, like some components. And once again, thanks for watching this video and feel free to provide feedback to the PWR Builder team either on your official uh, Twitter account or on our GitHub repo. Thanks.